Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome to No Man's Sky Next Update. That's capital N-E-X-T. This was just released a few days ago on Steam. I will, of course, put a link down below in the description so you can check it out. Oh, stop shooting your ship, you dumb dumb. Um, yeah, there's a link down below to the Steam store page for No Man's Sky. You can check it out if you like what you see here. Of course, the game has been out for a while, and it's been uh, been kind of controversial since its launch, right? Because it didn't meet up to a lot of people's expectations back then. But it has been patched multiple times since the release. And I think Hello Games, the developer, has, um, has done quite a bit in trying to meet those Initial promises, and they're getting much closer. Uh, the game is actually pretty fun. Pretty fun. This new update just came out a few days ago, and it adds multiplayer, which is one of the things they had kind of sort of promised in the very beginning, didn't they? I think so. But it does have a sort of a, a beginning of multiplayer. It's not complete yet. Um, you can only play with uh, a certain number of people, small number of people, as far as I know. You have to join a game already in progress, or you can create your own game and allow other people in. But I think the, the number of people that can join you is pretty limited. I don't know for a fact. I haven't really read the patch notes, but again, there's a link down below. Go check it out. Steam store page. The game is actually on sale right now, too. I think it's half price. So now's a good time to snatch it up if you're curious. And the recent, uh, the more recent reviews have been very, very positive. I think, I think they are literally very positive. Literally very positive. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a look at the new next update. Capital N-E-X-T update. <laughs> and see what it's got to offer. I've already been playing for a little while. And I have a spaceship. Protection. What up, lady? Uh, toxic protection here. Let's throw some sodium in there. Yeah. I don't. Never mind what mom told you about sodium. You want sodium in this game. Lots of it. As much sodium as you can find. Um, hopefully we can find some on our way. We're going over here to this decoded coordinates. So I found that spaceship that we just saw over there in that valley. Um, in this game that I'm playing right now. I started a brand spanking new one. Oh, who's this fella? Hello, friendly. Hi, buddy. Oh, jeez. Looks like he's got to go. Sorry, did I disturb you? He was about, he squatted. He's ready to drop a load, but then he ran. Um, yeah, so I have played this in the past. I played quite a bit before the next update. But I wanted to start fresh with you guys. I'm pretty close to fresh anyway. At least to show you some of the, uh, of the next update. I don't... Oh, sorry! Uh, yeah. That, that guy went that way. I saw him. Go. No, that way! Over there, quick! Quick, you can catch him. The guy was blasting everything with his beam of green light. Wait, is this green? Yes, it's green. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to start fresh and see how the game started out. Still have to um, uh, fix up a spaceship that you find right in there, the spawn. And that's what we're doing right now. we got to get over here to the decoded coordinates. Built up a, uh, a beacon to find that. Beacon now you can carry around, which is pretty cool. Uh, signal booster is what it's called, actually. So that's pretty cool. So that's that's changed. But we got to get this ship fixed up. Okay, wow! I fell in a hole. Oh, it's nice. It's nice down here. It's a nice cave. Hello, cave. You seem like a nice cave. All right. Well, I didn't really want to do that. Turn on the torch. T for torch, by the way. Um, also, we have a third person view. I don't know if you noticed, but that is that is new. <laughs> that is actually new to this next edition. And it's not easy to get out of there, believe me. Oh, no, that's the build menu. Put that down. Yeah, right here. Took me 20 minutes to figure out how to... Just change my view, which I think is here. Secondary weapon, and then toggle. Yeah, like that, see? First person's kind of good, too. But the third person's new, and it's kind of cool seeing your backside, I guess. Eventually, we can... Um... Hi! Oh, you have a little light on your head. You're cool. Hey, let me feed you. Eat it up. You like it? Oh, he does! Look at the happy face. He does. No, he's nodding, nodding, nodding. Hey, that is cool. Does that thing light up the dark? It's like a nightlight. Oh, you just shined it in my face. That doesn't seem... It seems dangerous. Could have blinded me. All right. I'm getting off track here. We got a little sidetracked. Let's get over to the decoded uh, coordinates and get our thing to build the thing and fix the thing. But I, I do want to go back to third person since it's new. Yeah. So you can customize your character now. If you get to a space station, there's like a little 
um, salon or something. I don't know. <laughs> and you can uh, you can customize your look. I, I don't know how robust it is because I haven't done it yet, but we'll get there eventually. I'm gonna grab some more ferrite dust. Ferrite dust seems like a new component. I don't remember ferrite dust before, but apparently now there's a refinery. And you can refine some of these things into new things. Like ferrite dust into ferrite. And here we go. We found the place. It's beautiful. Look at this. We have a, uh, a base. Oh, and the base building has been changed too. Apparently there's a lot more options now. You can build anywhere you want. And there's all kinds of... Oh, look at these foxes. Big fox faces. Hey. Stop. If you feed them, they stick around. Have some cobalt. Oh, he's cute. I wish there were an easier way to get to first person because I want to see his face. Oh, wow. You're not so cute, actually. All right, back away. Back away. Beat it. Get out of here. I don't have any more food for you. All right. Now, how do we uh, how do we activate this place? We just go in. I can't fit in there. I can open the door. Uh, we got to find the door. I think we can activate this place to discover it, right? The game's all about exploring and discovering. Here we go. Found the door. That's what we're looking for. Oh, it's nice in here. That's a window. No wonder I couldn't get in that way. <laughs> Let's check the holo archive. Accessing archive. The mostly corrupt. Great. No one making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator. Visor damage. Can't find ship. Oh, that poor guy. Well, we'll take his supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Well, I hope he doesn't mind coming with us. The seal. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Yeah, blown seal. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go fix our blown seal. But first, we'll go check this thing out. Oh. Oh, it's raining. It's getting nasty. Oh, we need life support. Quick, quick, quick. Life support. <gasps> Uh-oh. We need, we need O2. Uh, I don't think if you go inside these buildings that it actually... Oh, dear. Oh, there's some. I don't think going in the buildings will recharge our life support system, which is weird. It's only down to 5%. Gather oxygen to recharge or craft life support gel. Oh, we can make a gel. I don't know how to make a gel. Ow! Ow! You! Oh, he gives oxygen! <laughs> Serves you right for poking me! You big jerk. What is this? Oxygen... Oh, 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 gosh, this guy's right here. Dude, I need the oxygen. I'm going to die. Let's see if we have enough. Okay. All right. Woo. Okay, we have averted the disaster momentarily. You just... Get out of here. Fine. If you break things up in front of that guy, he gets angry and he um, shoots you. Was that the oxygen? No, it's, it's behind this uh, rock. I can't get to it. It's under the rock. And this one does not require mining. You can just pick it up like that. Beautiful. All right. So let's fill up our life support system. Any more O2 around here? Oh, there's sodium. We do need sodium. Ow. Let's grab the sodium. And then, uh, well, let's go check this thing out first. I never got inside. And then we can head back to the ship and fix our blown seal. Here's your jetpack, dude. All right, in we go. Wait, is this the no, wrong one? The other one. Bloop. Yeah, this is a great game for streaming. I'm not sure how good it's going to be for actual um, video on YouTube. Restore shield. Is that all we got in here? But I figured one video just to let you know that the next update is out. Because I'm curious about it and I wanted to see it. And uh, I figured we'd make a quick video, show you guys. And then eventually what we're going to do is... Um, is probably stream this on my Twitch channel, which, by the way, I have been streaming on there. Well, I did at least once, and there's a link down below to my Twitch channel. Go and follow me there. Visor. we got to fix a visor. Unable to locate Starship. Build carbon nanotubes. Oh! Carbon nanotubes. I can make those. And now what? I have to fix my visor. Install the advisor with E. All right. Multi-tool inventory. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we need this adv this advisor, the analysis visor, to an analyze resources and minerals and rocks and plants and animals, and then we can start getting paid. 
Start making the big bucks. And we can see our ship now. Yay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, F. So F is our scanner. I remember this now. Fungal cluster over here. Let's scan it and get some money. Look at that. 500 space bucks. For uh, discovering the S. Wittapuki, whatever it's called. All right, cool. Can I kill it? Yeah. Yeah, let's take it. That's a lot of carbon. That is a lot of carbon, which we could use. Oh, let's uh, let's scan these little foxy dudes. Can zoom in too, which is cool. Oh, berry technology. What? Where? So that is a trichmodium. It's not a fox. I thought you were a fox. But this is showing me some kind of. Oh, it shows me a whole bunch of things. Cargo drop. Cobalt. Copper deposit. Very, 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 very cool. Okay, so there was some kind of um, buried technology. 358 units. I wonder uh, how far that is. Maybe we should go there first. Although we could just fix up the ship and then fly over. That might make more sense. Yeah, see, there's a lot of traveling in this game. At least right now, it's a lot of walking, but we will eventually have our spaceship. But even then, it's really a lot about chill exploration and discovering new stuff. There's so much cool stuff in this game. There really is. A humming egg. This is all new, guys. I don't remember this in the old game before next. So, yeah, apparently there's a lot of new content, new items you can find. New technologies, some kind of unique technologies that you can gather now, too. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Condensed carbon. This is a big one. Oh, I need a special laser for that. 44 U's away. Right here. Oh, I'm probably going to need some kind of mining drill for this. <laughs> this is a waste of time. All right, well, here's what we can do. We can mark it. What? Wait, I think I can mark this. Place a custom marker. Yeah, custom marker right there. So then we can see it without pressing uh, F. Anyway, all right, let's get back to the ship. It's way over here. My starship, a thousand units away. So this is going to take a little while. Let's grab some sodium on the way. Mom was wrong all this time. Sodium is good for you. You need it to survive. Watch. Sodium. There we go. And oxygen in the life support. So yeah, let me get back to the ship and we will uh, fix the blown seal. <laughs> and then we'll go fly about maybe for the last uh, last bit of this video. So hang tight. Oh man, this is some thick vegetation. Okay, I made it. In the nick of time, it's getting nasty out here. Oh, there's radiation or toxicity or something in this planet. Toxicity, look at that. External toxicity is at 57. I guess that's percent. Acid rain is what this is. All right, so our protection is rising here inside the ship. That's nice. We are protected somewhat in here, but our life support is still a little low, isn't it? Um, and you know, you know what? Let's hold on to that oxygen because I think we might need it for the next leg of this uh, repair job. Repair the pulse engine. Oh, okay, let's get inside and do that. All right, let's go to the starship and pulse engine. We got the, um, the, that metal part. All right, let's fix that blown seal. Perfect. So the pulse engine is now repaired, and now we just have to repair the launch thruster with dihydrogen jelly, which we have. Let's throw that in there. And we need pure ferrite. Oh, okay, this is where the refinering, refinering comes in. Refining? <laughs> Launch thruster critically damaged. Yes, thanks for letting me know. We already got the jelly. We just need the pure ferrite. So let's see if we get um, instructions how to do this. Craft. Construct a portable refiner. Craft metal plating. All right, we can do that. Metal plating is easy, easy peasy. There we go. And now we can deploy a portable refiner. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's put it down right here. And let's do some maintenance. I love that you can pick the stuff up and bring it with you now. We have to put fuel in it. And it requires carbon or condensed carbon. We have a bunch of condensed. Plenty of fuel. And now we need to make uh, we need to make pure ferrite. Is that what it was? So do we have any ferrite? Oh, we got plenty of ferrite dust. 139. And let us begin. Check that out. That is so cool. 
30 seconds left to process all of that ferrite. All right, let's step away and let it let it do its thing. That's really awesome. All right, once we get up here, ferrite, I think that's it. We'll be able to fix this ship up and do some flying. Pure ferrite complete. Let's snatch it up. Transfer items. Press X. This GUI is a little strange, but that's how you do it. All right, we got it. And let's pick this up. Let's grab that. Don't want to leave it behind. And now let's hop in the ship and fix this puppy. And let's go for a little flight. All right, there we go. Done. Yay. It's all repaired. And we can put some fuel in there. Okay, we don't have any fuel for that. How about the pulse engine? We don't have any fuel for that either. We need pyrite or tritium. All right, we got a photon cannon in here and a rocket launcher. We got deflector shields. Yeah, looking good. All right, let's uh, let's fly. Is it ready to fly? Let's save it first. Every time you hop out, you get a restore point. All systems go. Let's boogie. Press W to take off. Yeah, I kind of forget how to fly. Whoa! Man, you just get bounced, don't you? <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, there's our custom marker. I wonder if... Uh, wait, does our ship have a mining thing on it? Can we build a mining tool? I don't know. I wonder if we can just use the photon cannon. I don't think so. I kind of forget. Well, let's do a quick scan here and see what's around. Oh, there it is. There it is. Custom marker. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, do not use uh, WASD. Well, W for forward, S for slow down. <laughs> A and D is for uh, pitch and yaw or something. Is that what that's called? But otherwise, just use the mouse. Nope, that's a gun. All right. I don't have, I don't seem to have a mining laser. No, I don't. All right, well, we'll have to get one. We'll have to upgrade somehow, but this is great. This is fantastic. Now we can just fly around, baby. Let's see all the sites. We can scan from up here. And there's a lot of locations of interest. Oh, here we go. Speaking of, right next door, there's a big base. That must be a landing pad. It's telling us to land. Press E to land. Nice and safe. Oh, yeah. I guess they were waiting for us here. Oh, this is a big place. Let's go check it out. Is this a door? No. How do we get in? <laughs> we can never find the dang doors. Can turn on your light. Gotta be a door around here somewhere. I hope they're friendly. There we go. And we have some boxes on the outside. Nope. Oh, we have a box right here. Search it. Carbon. All right, in we go. Hello? Anybody here? There's nobody here. Oh, I guess we're alone. But we have a panel of some kind. Stargazers of Adak Nidol. Oh, this is the thing. Yeah, we got a pattern here. And I don't remember how to do these. All right, I think we have to choose the one with the number in a new location. 8273 looks right to me. I think we did it. I discovered a location within the distant stars. <gasps> Whee! Right, in the distant stars, a signal detected. And we'll be able to fly up there eventually, but I think we need... I think we need like a warp drive to get up there. Can't get there yet, but someday, someday. Um, there's really nothing else here, I don't think. Oh, dang it, that door's locked. We need a special key for it. And this one just leads back outside. That's the front door. What is all this about? Probably another locked door. Yep. So we have, uh, we've got two locked doors, and I guess that's about it. All right, well, let's go check the other buildings. So I think we'll probably end this video here, but if you guys want to see more, let me know, and I'll probably stream it. I don't think I'm going to make any more videos, but I, will, I would like to stream this game. Maybe late at night, 
Um, it's very relaxing just to fly around and find new locations, make new discoveries, and upgrade your equipment. You can upgrade your ship. You can even find new ships and uh, buy ships, trade ships, fly out in outer space, fight pirates. There's actually a lot to do. But it's a very slow, chill, casual game. Not a lot of action, at least not until you get out into outer space where you fight the pirates. But I would like to see more of the new content. Life support's down, huh? All right, well, let's fill it up. Got some O2 right there. Let's scan and see if we got any more O2 around. We got some sodium. Should probably go grab that. Oh, who's this guy? Have we scanned you yet? Yes, I recognize that butt anywhere. It's called a Dasi Rikesis, and he's a little shy. All right, let's grab our sodium. All right, we're done here at this base. There's really nothing left for us. Let's hop in the ship. And we will end this episode flying about. Looking for more interesting locations. Oh, oh gosh. Well, there's our location. An ancient ruin, but it's off this planet. We're going to have to fly up to another planet. But we just got here. I'm sure there's more to see around here somewhere. Ooh, we got something here. Some kind of little base of some kind. Let's see, can I land? Not on it. Right next to it, hopefully. Ooh, big cave there, too. Yeah, we should definitely check out the cave. What is this? Some kind of alien technology or alien structure. I think we might be able to unlock some alien languages here or something. Knowledge stone. Yes, we learned the Corvax word for warning. We are going to run into aliens. And they, uh, you don't speak their language by default. So you have to learn their words at these types of places. So we're going to unlock a few words here. Convergence. And it also gives you uh, positive faction with them when you find locations like this. <gasps> oh, legacy of Rikoidex. Here we go. Oh, look at the lights flashing in my backpack. I feel faint, as if my mind is being invaded. Pustules on my skin grow, bubble and pop, and I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks scrabbling from each gaping hole. Suddenly metal spiders, perhaps the tiny sen sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. Holy cow. I'm going to wait it out. I think it's fake. The hallucination fades. I have passed some sort of test. A reward materializes. I had a feeling it was fake. All a test. Those silly Corvax tested us. What do they? What do they give us? Corvax casing. It's a metallic shell of a disconnected electronic life form that was too distant from its kind to be refreshed with a new entity. We can sell it for twenty-two thousand units. We just have to find a trading post. Very cool. See, that's the kind of stuff you get in this game. Just find structures out here, and there's a ton of them. Oh, look at the bodies! We've got some kind of flying critters up there. Journey milestone achieved. Right, I don't care about that. I'm trying to see the dudes. I want to get the bites. If you discover all the critters in one area, you get a huge bonus. On one planet, you get a huge bonus. Great, all right. We got Tyretazonicas. Kind of like uh, Pteranodons or something, right? Prehistoric. Prehistoric flying critters. Ooh, big cave. Oh! What's oh, a deep one? Alright, I'm not going down there yet. Whoa, oh, ow, bouncing off the rocks. Let's get in the ship. Hop out and save it. And we're gonna call it quits right here. Oh, there's a crate. <laughs> Didn't even see that there. Carbon, and oh, there's a whole bunch of crates. This one's a little tricky to get to. This is gonna have scrap. Scrap metal that I think we can use just for trading or something. Whee! Woo! All right. I think we are going to call it quits right here, folks. Hope you all enjoyed. And again, keep an eye on my Twitch channel because I'm going to be streaming this game. I don't think I'm going to be making any more videos. It's just um, it's just not very conducive to, to a YouTube series, I don't think. But I think it would be amazing to do a chill stream just late at night, you know, just hanging out with you guys, chatting and exploring uh, the galaxy, and completing these quests and so forth. Oh, look at all the goodies here. Lots of goodies here. 
So with that, we are going to call it quits. For real. All right. <laughs> we'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. What's happening?